Hello, my name is Brian Bunton. I'm the field agronomist with Pioneer in Southwest Missouri in Southeast Kansas. Today I'm standing in a wheat field here in Southwest Missouri and I want to talk to you about the optimal timing to spray fungicide in wheat to control fusarium head blight or the disease we normally refer to as head scab. This field is a field of 25R74 Pioneer soft wheat and as you can see the heads are just starting to emerge from the boot and in a matter of few days these wheat plants will be at full heading. You can see that we have a good healthy flag leaf on all these plants and then in just a matter of days the head is going to be fully emerged. Fusarium can be easily seen late in the growing season because it stands out with bleached heads. Um, oftentimes these are surrounded by green heads. Um, if the disease is severe enough you can see kind of some pinkish tinge to some of the kernels within the grain as well. Once the heads have fully emerged and begin flowering is when we need to think about making that fungicide application for wheat. I suggest making a fungicide application when 50% of the field has reached stage 10.5.1, which simply means that the wheat heads have begun flowering. Uh, wheat heads will start to flower from the middle of the head and work their way up and down from there. The anthers will start out yellow, and as flowering continues to progress, they'll dry out and turn white. If we're not timely with our fungicide applications, the efficacy of the fungicides can go down drastically. One of the things that fusarium head blight can cause in a lot of situations is a mycotoxin called deoxynivalenol, which is often referred to just as DON or simply vomitoxin. Uh, vomitoxin can reduce both the yield and the quality of wheat, and sometimes if it's severe enough can actually reduce the saleability of the wheat if it has too high of levels within the wheat grain. There are a few fungicides on the market that in my opinion are very good at suppressing fusarium head blight. They include Caramba, Prosaro, and Miravis Ace, which is brand new for the 2019 growing season. Uh, a few tips that I would suggest in making a fungicide application would include running a minimum of 10 gallons per acre of water, uh, 15 to 20 could even be better. Making sure that we're using twin jet nozzles that have an angle facing both forward and backward to make sure we get ad adequate coverage of that wheat head. And lastly, again, just making sure that our timing is as good as it possibly can be. If you have any other questions related to fusarium head blight control in wheat or any other wheat management questions, contact your local Pioneer sales rep or visit pioneer.com. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.